So let's get started. Uh, so today's session is on electronic hardware design. So I'm going to go into a few steps and it, it is going to be at a high level. So I hope that, uh, you know, it, it is still helpful for all of you. So how many of you uh, have heard or read about this, about what Sundar Pichai has said? So I'll, I'll keep asking questions. You can always type your answers in the chat window. Okay. I'll keep looking at it occasionally. So Sundar Pichai in one of his interviews, he said that hardware is hard. Okay. So this was in a context where uh, Google was trying to uh, build their own hardware and uh, they faced a lot of issues with their pixel phone and uh, Sundar Pichai got it right. So it is not only hard to design a hardware. Uh, it is also equally difficult uh, to make it work. Uh, to debug when there are issues and uh, do all this at low cost and on a small form factor like a phone. Okay. So that's where all the difficulty comes into picture. And uh, moreover, a hardware failure can be catastrophic. We know that it can be costly. Okay. And most importantly, it is, it can be an irreversible damage that can happen unlike software. Okay. So if you think about it, there is no control Z option. There is no control Z. You can't go back. If something goes wrong in the hardware. Good. Now my next question to the audience. So what is, what is electronic hardware design? So what is your answer? What do you think is electronic hardware design? To execute any operation. Okay. So think of the words separately. Okay. What is electronics hardware design? Creating a comprehensive schematic or diagram that depicts physical architecture, connections, electronics, component systems. Okay. To design working model. Okay. Just type your answer. Okay. So don't use uh, Google or chat GPT or any of those things. So if you ask the question there, Chat GPT will become smarter. Okay. We don't get smarter. The tool will become smarter than us. So think of an answer and tell me the answer. Okay. Design circuits. I'm reading the answers. Design circuits that can perform client needs. Design relevant circuitry. To enable particular functionalities. Implementation of logic through hardware. Okay. So some of these uh, answers are very relevant uh, to what we are going to discuss. But let's see what industry say talks about when we talk about electronics hardware design. Okay. So this is, uh, so you all know about Apple. So this is a job page from Apple and what I have done is I have taken uh, some of the things that they have listed on their website, on their job portal from Apple and see what I've highlighted. So I'll quickly give you a minute, just go through the items that I've highlighted in yellow color. So this is again, another job page from a company called ABB. This is a sample job posting for an electronic hardware engineer. So again, uh, I'll give you a minute. Just look at the items that I've highlighted in yellow color.
Okay, I'll go to the next slide. So this is again one more last uh, uh, you know job profile that I'm posting here. So this is from BAE Systems. This is a British company which is specializing in aerospace and defense products. So again, look at the highlighted items uh, which they say, okay, what is required from a hardware design engineer, okay, for product support. So this is the job title. So look at the highlighted items. Okay, so what I'm doing in this slide is, so this is a blank slide if you see. So I'm going to list all the skills or few of the, most of the skills that we saw in the previous slides, okay? So one by one, these are the skills that we saw in the previous slides. So I'm just putting it here. Okay, so my question to you is, how many years how many years of experience do you think we need to master all these skills? So how many years of experience do you think we need to master all the skills that I have listed here? Because all these things are required, let's say, to design a complex product, okay, complex hardware. Okay, let me read the answers. So people are saying 10 years, 5 to 8 years, 4 years, 12 years, 10 years, 20 years. Okay. So I got a lot of answers, five to 10 years and all that. So, uh, so I, so, sorry to di disappoint you, all of you. So please don't feel uh, disappointed. So even if you take your entire lifetime, you cannot master all these things. So if you see here, so the, the reason I showed you uh, the previous three slides with different job postings for a hardware design engineer, right? All this was electronic hardware design engineer position. So if you look at it, it's a multidisciplinary subject, right? It requires so many different skills and many of these skills could be right within your electronics domain or electrical domain, but still these are very different skills, okay? So when we study electronics engineering, let's say in the college as part of engineering, we study all the different subjects. So if you are studying 40 or 50 different subjects in your as a part of your engineering imagine that each subject is a branch of engineering in itself so if you are studying antennas that is a different field if you are studying let's say digital electronics that's a different field if you are studying analog electronics that's a different field so the idea of putting all this together is to say that if you want to design an electronic product it is going to require all these skills now if you want to apply to any of those positions that i showed you in the previous slide let's say you want to apply to a job to those positions right so you may feel that okay i don't know like uh, let's say 50 percent of the things here most of the skills doesn't match with my profile but don't worry you can still apply for the job the reason being is when they are posting a job they put all the skills or most of the skills because they are trying to see people with overlapping skills so even if you know a few things but you don't know some of the things you can still apply for the job because they cannot find a person who knows everything Okay, so they want to see if people know, let's say two or three skills who are good in those skills and if, they, if there is an overlap of the skills. Okay, so that's the reason I wanted to show you saying that, you know, how many different skills are required uh, if you want to design an electronics product. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below to get regular updates of video releases.